Yo, what's up, family? Hey, man, real quick, and I'm not going to hold y'all long, I promise, man, but I was sitting up here shedding, and um, I was just practicing, man, and I, I, I typically pick a key, and I go for it for about an hour or so, man, just sort of digging in and trying new things, and I thought to myself, man, uh, let me teach y'all uh, something I was just working on, and I picked the key of F, and literally, this is at night. And I was like, man, this would be so good to share. And uh, I was just, you know, messing around. I started messing around with some 251 stuff. And uh, being an F, I, I kept going to B flat and try to see different ways I could get to B flat. And I sort of uh, just had this Barry Harris sort of vibe going. And what I mean, what I mean by that is Barry Harris uh, had this idea, this, this, this idea with the diminish six scale right and I just wanted to sort of teach it a little bit there's tons of videos on YouTube about it man I'm gonna give my uh, sort of perspective and impression on it and uh, I'm using it with uh, drop twos as well so I want to show you uh, probably like four or five different sort of things I was working on getting to B flat three of them pretty much were um, like chord progressions the other two was just you know some licks uh, and people told me they they like hey yo share some licks and not just so you could be like fancy and start showing off but I want to show you how to apply them how they make sense uh, and just put it in your repertoire man and uh, start just developing this vocabulary so again I was in uh Man, I was I was in F. I was in F. Uh, uh, and, uh, and I wanted to do this. Yeah, like right there. George, what did you just do right there? So here's this idea, this diminished, uh, diminished six scale, right? Um, and drop two, like I'm combining both of them. Now, George, all right, slow it down like break it down elementary style. So let me do that. All right, so this idea, again, this diminished sixth scale is where uh, you add a note in between the fifth and sixth note of the major scale. And the two, five, one going to be flat to two, in this case is gonna be a minor, which is C minor. The five and B flat is F, and that's gonna be a dominant chord, uh, whether and you, you can do so much with these dominant chords, man. Um, start when, like when you start adding a 13 and sharpen the 11th and flatten the nine, all types of stuff. Sharp the nine, it could get really uh, amazing. And so uh, let's, I'm basing that first move off the E flat diminished six scale. Uh, why am I using E flat uh, when I said C minor? Cause C minor is the relative minor E flat major. All right, so let's look at E flat major. The regular E flat major scale is this. All right, and I said we're adding a note in between the five and the six. Now, what, how, how is this, you know, smart or what makes it cool? Uh, because this opens you up to so many harmonic possibilities where you can sound, these movements sound so rich. Uh, and let me let me show you what I'm talking about. So, one, two, three, four, five, flat six, diminish six, right? Or the, you flat the six, and that's what diminish mean when you lower it a half step. Augmented means raise it up a half step. Diminish means lower it a half step or flat, right? Um, so that's what you're doing with the six. The six in E flat is the C, and when you diminish the six becomes B or flatten the six or go down a semitone, which is a half step. All right, now. C 
so it adds a note in that scale right um now the cool thing is if we use that scale and now uh play every other note we have this chord which is e flat e flat six chord right now if we go up that that diminished six scale right move all the notes up now we have a diminished seventh chord it's an f diminished seventh chord now let's keep going up that scale we're using that scale still mm. now it's just an inversion of a, of this e flat six and if we go up again now we have this a flat diminished seventh now notice it's just an inversion of that F diminished seven. These are all inversions. Inversion, what is an inversion? A rearrangement of notes, right? Take that E flat, place it up here. That's an inversion. Now take this G, place it up here. Inversion, take this B flat, place it up here. And that's where you have that C minor. You see that C minor in this chord now? Now, the same thing with that diminished seventh chord. And because diminished chords are symmetrical, what I mean, they made up of minor thirds. So the F diminished seventh chord is the A flat diminished seventh chord. It equals the B diminished seventh chord. It also equals the D diminished seventh chord. And the cool thing about these diminished chords, man, if you change the bass note around, it could turn into a, um, a dominant seventh flat nine chord, right? For instance, and I'm, I'm now I'm about to get on a rabbit trail. I said that was F uh, diminished. If we take this F, right, and go down a half step, that becomes a E uh, seven flat nine and you could do that starting anywhere like okay I said F diminished seventh equals a flat diminished seven now let's do it a flat right now if we go down a half step that becomes a G uh, seven flat nine diminished and dominant chords are so amazing uh, I actually have a teaching on it in my uh, master class one of my master class videos on my website shameless plug shameless plug georgegranville.com if you're already a member god bless you if you're not you might want to jump on this train all right so uh i'm gonna be breaking this uh, this might be two videos all right i want to show you different ways this first way i was really just trying to get you know my hands used to certain movements and that's what you have to do man you have to spend some some time whatever you invest in that that will grow all right so that's exactly what i was doing okay, so i'm in the key of f and i did this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's one way. I did this. So here's that movement. So I'm going to slow it down. Having that sharp 11 with the 13 in there and the flat nine. What if I sharp the nine? You see what you, 
all the things you can do just manipulating these extensions, these nines, these elevens, the fives, adding the 13. Yeah, so now check this out. What am I doing with the left hand? That's one way. Here's a second way, and I'll do it again. I'll slow it all down. I'm trying to move quick. Uh, here's a second way, and shout out to my big bro, one of my mentors uh, in my city, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. He showed me this years ago, and it was just so fat. It almost sound the same, right? Rodney Hubbard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, George. Chordal voicings. Check this out. Here's that C minor 11. It's just. I'm using this style called chordal voicings, which is so ambiguous, it's open. I actually, I have another class on chordal voicings, right? <laughs> you gotta check that out too. Here we see a lot of parallelism, right? Especially the, I'm starting on that B. Chordal voicings, fourths apart, right? A chord made, of, made up of fourths. Boom, um, so that, that, that chord right there is leading me to this C minor. It's literally a half step, same shape. Now go up a whole step, same shape. Now check this out. Now, if it's still played over this C, that becomes a C minor six nine. This is big. You see how many harmonic possibilities or expressions I have just using a two, five, one. Now, I'm still in the key of F, man. I'm just going to be flat. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to be flat. So check this out. Same idea as the first movement. Now, I didn't do the sharp 11 right there. So you could just make that a 13 flat nine. Or, 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 whatever. Whatever you want to do. I'm just showing you some ideas. <laughs> so again, here's the first one. Let's slow down. So, uh, like doing this circular, I'm circling the uh, C minor using that diminish and this is developed from that diminished six scale again it's not really a diminished scale it's the idea of the flattening the six adding that note in the major scale and apply and i'm applying it to the relative minor or Two ways I just gave you. I'm hope I hope this is blessing you, man. And and, and just I want to open you up again. I'm just giving you the tools. I'm not saying copy exactly from me. I just want to expand your mind, expand your thinking. Again, so uh so we in F, right? Uh so check this out. Um so So, boom, da, uh. 
You see that? Now, George, what are you doing here? So I'm drop two things, all right? Here's a, a C minor 11. Now, now this is a C minor uh, major nine. Now, instead of thinking it like that, now I'm using uh, the C minor uh, melodic scale. So we're the C minor melodic scale has that natural six and that natural seven. The only thing that's flat is the third. So this idea. I was listening to a lot of Robert Glasper, man. And you see how, like, when I'm listening and studying and gleaning from some of my, some of my favorite pianists, I just start incorporating some of the things that they do. And the first move, Barry Harris. Second move, I got from my big bro here in Cleveland, Rodney Hubbard. This move, I heard... Robert Glasper and then uh, again just um, pretty much pretty much just applying it to uh, to uh, my plan my plan style man and um, I, I hope you're doing the same thing so I really want to like just give you you know expose you to my head my ideas and where I hear the, these things. So you can do. Woo, so up. Um, and you pick your moments, you pick your spots for sure. That's three ways, right? All right. Um, there's another way. Um, I want to get your ideas. All right. So we did this. All right. Now we did this. Second one. Or, or whatever kind of tension you want in there play around with it and then we did this uh, so you got that C minor in there that's one way here's another way check this out What? So this movement. Uh, Claire Fisker, man, um, who I love listening to again. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. Give me so many ideas, man. <laughs> so many. George, what is happening? So you have this and it's going up. Now this starts, this two is now, it's still a minor, but it's a flat five. And then you have this cool stuff going on in between, like this counter movement happening. This is going down, this is going up. And it's back to like that C minor. And it's that C minor flat five. That's the flat five. And that's the um, nine. So C minor nine flat five, right? 
So it's like these two switch places. <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I'm doing this. And then. Going to the F. It's still a seventh chord, right? Dominant chord, 13, flat nine. All right, so let's go back from the top. This one. Here's another one. Here's another one. And now here's this, another one. I just gave y'all, how many was that? Four different ways to get the B flat using a two, five, one. Four different ways. Now I want you to do your homework, transpose this in every key, every key. Don't keep learning until you get this in every key. I'm doing this. Here's another one. Here's another one. Uh, and here's another one. What? All right, now. Uh, all right, let's now do some licks. Uh, here's a lick. Uh, all right, so let me slow down. We got it. Now, I slowed it down on purpose. Check that out. E flat major seven. Now, uh -uh. what is that? D seven flat, I um, I'm sorry, F seven flat nine. Flat nine. So, um, Y'all got it? Da -da 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 -da. All right, here's another one. Uh, All right, y'all, so let's slow it down.
got that? I just gave y'all five. Five. To all of my exclusive members, man. Five. Five ways, five moves, and the key of F. I want y'all to transpose this to every key. It's 12 keys. Just gave y'all five different moves. Uh, four chord progressions to get to B flat, all right? Two, five, one, get into the four. So we have F going to B flat. The two is the, um, we're using the two, five, one to B flat, which, and then, and then B flat. The two is the C, and the five is the F, get into B flat. All right, and, but we get into this four. It's just destinations to the four. And the four happens all the time in music. All the time, all right? So you usually go to the four, man, within the first four measures, <laughs> usually, of any song. I hope you gain something from this. I, I think I gave you about six different ways, uh, four chord movements and two licks to add to your repertoire, man, again, Welcome to my practice session. Again, I was sitting here in the Kia F and I was just going for it. And I was like, man, this is a great sort of, this will be a nice lesson to uh, teach uh, people, man. And uh, definitely you hear some, in, some, some, some of the moves uh, that I, you know, gathered from the greats. And it's just, I've incorporated it, incorporated it into my playing. Um, and that that's what happens what's in you will come out of you man and i'm just i just hope that this is adding value man hey i need a favor i need your help if this is uh if this platform if you're growing from this platform spread the word man invite other musicians to come in to sit to learn there's so much material i have on this website man hopefully you all are gaining that is it's definitely adding things to your tool belt again I just want to equip you with the tools to write your own story, man. And I can't wait. Man, music is a language, man. And we beginning, hopefully, to speak that language. And you becoming more versed in this language. For sure, man. Uh, but until next time, man. Peace, love, happiness, um, and blessings. Take care.